I'd have to laser the ground and then laser the top of the tree. It looks like we have maybe an old, old dead oak tree. Right. How's it going folks? I'm Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. This morning we got a really interesting job that we're doing. We're gonna be taking our matrice and flying over approximately 160 to 180 acres looking for dead oak trees. There's a disease called oak wilt that's affecting these oak trees and a farmer called and wanted to have us come out and inspect his trees and give him location of where the dead trees are. Don't know exactly what he's gonna do with the data but it is an interesting call and so I was like you know what yeah let's do it. So we got Got up early this morning, loaded the equipment up, threw it in the back of the truck, had fog this morning, everything's looking good. We're gonna head out there and see what we get into. Never done it, willing to try. If somebody wants to, you know, use the technology, that's what we're gonna do. We're uh, a couple minutes out, we'll show up there and get into it. Pretty cool situation. Never done it. We'll see what we get into. I'm gonna boundary his property on my remote so I know where the boundaries are when I'm flying. And I'm gonna do that off the app that I use. Onyx, reach back out to us. We use you guys a lot. So I'm gonna put my map here and then I'm gonna, let's see here, I'm gonna screen record this. I'm gonna create a flight route, create a route. I'm gonna put it in as waypoint, set waypoints. Make sure I'm connected to Wi-Fi, searching for a network. Mike's iPhone is now connected. Go back to here, see if it'll find us. Now it found me. Ready? So right there's a dead tree. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, so I'll drop a pin on this guy. Because this is what we're going to be looking for. Man, that's sad. So like right here, th these are ash trees, but I assume these are like ash trees or something. Yeah. These are like cherry trees in here. It looks like a cherry tree. So what, uh, your tree farm, what do you... Harvesting timber or... Okay. That's the idea. I'm going to do it in 2030, but depending on how bad the oak is, I'm going to do it sooner than that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could figure it out, take me a little bit. I'd have to laser the ground and then laser the top of the tree and kind of do calculation and figure it out. You want a pin dropped on this? Sure. That's a cherry tree there. Top starting to die. Got little leaves, see how they're around. But like that oak tree, that first one we found, that, that stood out like right. crazy. Like these, right, yeah. Right. yeah. These look like ash trees that have been dead for a while. It looks like an aspen. Hickory tree tag bite. These white lines is what I've already fallen. Pig nut hickory. Okay, good. That's an oak. But it looks like it's been dead for a long time. Right. To me, it would look like we have maybe an old, old dead oak tree. Right. So doesn't the oak tree have to have an open wound in order for it to be susceptible? So yes. what could have happened to this oak down here is what, maybe like a storm or something right. and broke a limb? Right. Okay. Is that just an optical illusion of how the, the seems like the property lines are definitely dead? The very first time we looked at it is 27 inch DBH. So. Oh, guys. Be nice. You see how it goes to that? Mm -hmm. Like, usually I was able to, like, just stay where it would stay where I put it so I can see my line. It looks like an old pine tree, you see how it has... Oh, okay. This looks like an old oak tree. Maybe a cherry, but doesn't it look like an old oak? It looks cherry. And this maple tree. Another cherry. Another cherry. Ash tree. 
I didn't say that's an old cherry tree. Big one. Look at this bark. What is the property size? 150 one, acres. One, okay, 150. It doesn't have good mushrooms on it though. <laughs> but, but it's been a good place to get away. Sure, sure. So you don't live down here? No, I live up in Carrollton. I, I called up the Ohio State Extension and I... Right. I think I know where that particular tree is. But most of these are like old dead trees. Right. Looks like a cherry from here. That's a maple. It's not an oak, so we're happy about that. But... Hopefully ash. This well make you more than your uh, salary did as an engineer? Yeah, it probably does. Yeah. I had a customer south of here in Caddis, and uh, I think he said he was 25000 a month. That's not too shabby. Man. This looks too brushy for an oak. First thought when I see it is a elm tree. Group of elm trees. That's a big top for an ass. Yeah. More aspen. It's fine. Scarlet oaks get. Uh, so I'll drop a pin on it, but you know this is gonna get you close. It might not take you right there. Okay. So that's. Uh, that looks more like a pine tree, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the rings. Uh-huh. Do you hunt out here? I don't. I let the neighbors hunt. I mean, if some of these trees are elms that we found, you should be able to find some morels, I would you, think. You would think, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't had much luck. Hmm. There's been one... These are too far gone to be having morels. Mm -hmm. It seems like you have to get them right as the tree is dying. Okay. I mean, this sucker here is so old, I can't see what it is because the bark's off of it. What about Hen of the Woods? You're going to have some of that if yeah. you have these oaks. Right. I like that mushroom. That's my pick really? over uh, morels. Oh, yeah. Is that honey locust? It might be. Yeah, it's probably a walnut. This looks good right through here. I think this is a super dead one I was looking at earlier. No, oh, this is different. Looks like an old cherry tree. What gave you the idea of hiring a guy with a drone to come do this? I don't know. I guess. Let's, let's see, did I come up with this idea on my own or not? I can't remember now, it's only been a week. I think I came up with it on my own. Just whenever, when the forester came out and we walked the land, it took us too long to cover enough territory to you know if he would have enough resolution to ID the trees or not. Probably an aspen. Appears that way to me. Got any silver poplar out here? I don't know what a silver poplar is. It's a mix between an aspen and a poplar tree. Huh. Nope, it basically know. has the leaf of a aspen. Okay. Well, with all the green, there might not be as much contrast Could currently, be. but you know, in in a bit of time, right. you could have that straight down view. I think this is a group of cherry trees. Is this where you would have cleared in this back corner? Because yep. that's what it looks like to me. It looks like a cutover almost. I'm gonna go hit this corner right in here, I feel like. Looks like an ash tree. But that, yeah, that looks like ash tree there from the branching path. I don't know that tree unless it is an ash tree and it's trying to shoot out again. Looks like an ash according to this bark, right? Yeah. Right here. If you look at my screen, it's a little more, you can right, see the, sure the detail. Right. That tree freshly died, do you see those leaves? Like, yeah. Or, I'm thinking it's an ash tree just from the shape of the branches. It's a big top. It is. Right at the very edge of the white pine grove, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it might be an elm. It's definitely worth inspecting. That is a big top, though. You yeah, see how that, big that is? Is that just one tree, you think? I'm, I'm not sure. sure. I think it's an elm, but I think it's two trees. That's kind of what I'm um, 50 feet from the tree. Oh. Let's see if we can adjust this. Cherry trees with grapevines in them. Basically in the back corner now. Well, I don't think that it's like all over your oaks no. as of now, so no, that's good. No, but I think we probably did find one additional. 
I don't know how interesting it'll be to watch, but yeah. Yeah. for certain people, well, maybe like somebody maybe, like yourself. Maybe, yeah. I don't think I spent time watching yeah. it. <laughs> Inspecting trees. I was gonna say, well, at least uh, we're doing a little bit of a class on on uh, trees and identifying yeah. them, Yeah, right? it'd be better if we had some more confidence in what we were doing. <laughs> yeah. Because what would make it worse is if we would have had like a windstorm or something where oh. your big oak trees right. back there would have broke a limb right. and then these guys have something right. to go into. But if they're strong, right. it would just have to be a chance, right? Where a limb fell off or something odd for them to have an open right. wound. But unfortunately, it's just a matter of time. Right? Yeah. This is with us forever now and there will be another windstorm at some point. So. Oh, you're saying the bug will stay here? Yeah. Yeah, it, hmm. it, it, it won't, it's not just a, oh, it was here this year, it's gone. Okay. It's, it's gonna be around. I see, so if the bug is here and you would get hit with a windstorm yeah. and you have a lot of breakage. Yeah. It's inevitable. Ugh. So that's why the forester was recommending that I try to reduce the amount of yep. black oak that I have on the property. Yep. All right, we got the wrapped up. It took longer than I was anticipating that it would take when I originally talked to the individual. Yeah, 150 acres. Basically, I think the reason it took us longer than I was thinking is when you seen a dead tree, you had to zoom in, but you couldn't really tell right away if it was like an ash tree, an elm tree, an oak tree, or whatever tree it was. So it just took a little bit longer. I think we flew, we were probably in the air for about an hour and 40 minutes to do 150 acres, which isn't bad, but you know, this video probably wasn't super action packed, but it's showing you guys another way you can use this technology to make a little bit of income on the side. You know, if you're doing drone deer recovery and you have this equipment, there's other things you can do as well. So we were able to give him a data that he was looking for. We ended up only finding maybe about two other oak trees that he was not aware of that looked like they might have oak will, but he's gonna go out there, give it a closer inspection and, uh, Hopefully it's not an oak tree, but I, I think there were a couple that were. That being said, if you guys like this video, if you wanna see more of just this type of content, give it a thumbs up, share it with your buddies, and we'll bring you guys that footage. This episode might not be as action-packed as the one that you guys are gonna see coming from an operator from PA that was able to do a deer recovery last night. 30 hours after the shot, he was able to go out and find this buck for this gentleman that was willing to pay him to drive five and a half hours to look for a buck. So it's gonna be wild this year. I'm telling you folks, it's gonna be great. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.